Hi, my name is Jonna Sampson, and I am a graduate student at Morningside College. I am also in my seventh year of teaching first grade. I will be presenting my research on the effects of duet reading on first grade students below reading fluency. According to the National Center of Educational Statistics, 33% of students in fourth grade and 24% of students in eighth grade are scoring at a basic reading level. These students will be unable to infer text and word meaning, find and support main ideas, and answer sim simple comprehension questions. Students who are low performing in reading are more likely to drop out of high school and will earn a medium income level of $23,000, while their post-secondary graduate peers will earn $48,000. The reason I chose this topic for my research is because of the sense of urgency for students. The state of Iowa requires students to be at 71 words correct per minute by the end of first grade. Teachers in my building have suggested duet reading as an intervention for those students who are falling behind that benchmark. I was unable to find any research to support duet reading, so I decided to do my own. Students who are below grade level at the end of first grade will more likely continue to fall behind. The National Reading Panel acknowledged five major areas of reading. One of those major areas was reading fluency. Fluent readers are able to decode words automatically, read with expression, and also comprehend what they are reading. In contrast, a non-fluent reader struggles to decode, reads slowly without proper phrasing, and is unable to comprehend. When the National Reading Panel concluded their report, a primary area of concern was in the area of reading fluency. Many schools were not providing sufficient instruction in reading fluency, despite the correlation between fluency and comprehension. Reading fluency and comprehension skills need explicit instruction in order for students to be successful. Reading fluency has been shown to be a predictor of later reading success in the area of comprehension. When a student is reading with automaticity and the correct speed, they will be able to focus on understanding the text rather than decoding words. The elements of the story will be lost if they are spending too much time or energy decoding and figuring out words. Students will not be able to comprehend and discuss the story. In order to comprehend what they are reading, a minimum reading rate of 63 words correct per minute is needed. Oral reading fluency in first and second grade has a strong correlation with a child's comprehension ability in third grade. In order to improve a child's reading rate, a teacher may implement a targeted intervention. Repeated reading is a common strategy used in classrooms today that involves a child reading a passage multiple times over several days to achieve fluency. Previous research has supported the use of repeated readings. One study used 42 second and fourth graders who participated in this repeated reading strategy. A child's oral reading ability on the intervention passages showed a greater increase with the repeated reading intervention. Students showed an increase in their words read correctly per minute by a mean of 24 words. Another study also supported the use of repeated readings with a listening passage preview. The duet reading strategy combines repeated readings, listening passage preview, and error correction. While the name duet reading may make one think that it is closely related to cooler reading, it is not. To define this strategy, duet reading involves a child and teacher reading a passage alter alternately. First, the teacher reads aloud the passage to the student. This would be the listening passage preview. Then the second reading begins, which would be the teacher reads the first word and the student follows with reading the second and so on. The goal is for the teacher to push the unskilled reader onto the next word quickly. For the third reading, the student starts with the first word and the teacher reads the second and so on. When an error occurs, the teacher quickly provides error correction and the student repeats the word and moves on. The final reading is an independent read by the child. The duet reading strategy allows students to move from being an observer to an independent reader. While researching for a topic, I was unable to find any research that supported the duet reading strategy. It was more so just repeated readings. While they are similar, there is some defined differences that made me want to conduct my own research. There's also a limited amount of research using non-practice material as the assessment. Most research I found use repeated readings and assess the students using the passage that they use for the intervention. This research study assesses students using passages they have not seen or read. The intervention material will be different, and that is what I will use to collect data. 
The purpose of this study was to determine the effects of duet reading on a child's oral reading fluency measured in words correct per minute. I hypothesize that since repeated readings increase a child's words read correctly per minute, then duet reading will also increase their reading rate. The participants of my study were 10 first grade students who were either six or seven years old. They attended a public elementary school in a Des Moines suburb. They were all native English speakers who were not receiving any additional instruction outside of the general education classroom. This means they did not receive special educational services, nor were they in Title I, Reading Recovery, or a reading resource group. The materials needed for this study were reading A to Z passages that correlated with each student's individual guided reading level. An elite book computer was used to collect assessment data. Iowa's formative assessment system for teachers and materials were used for these assessments. These were unseen passages that were read by students. They were given one minute to read as many words in the passage as they could. FastBridge Learning is the website that I use to access these materials. The assessments used were endorsed and have multiple sources to indicate that they measure what they intend. Construct validity is supported by control studies conducted by FastBridge Learning. Furthermore, these assessments go through a lab phase to ensure assessments meet the standards for reliability. Assessments were given to children on more than two occasions to show tests to retest reliability. This research used a within group design because participants participated in all segments of the research. These five segments were the baseline measurement, baseline period, pre-treatment measurement, treatment period, and then finally the post-treatment measurement. This all occurred over 10 weeks. During the baseline phase, all participants were given the FAST assessment so I could begin gathering my data points. Then the five-week baseline phase, phase began. During this phase, all students participated in core instruction, which included whole group and small group instruction each day for 90 minutes. After those five weeks, the pre-treatment measurement was given. This was the same as before. It was a FAST assessment that they had not seen or read. Following this assessment, the treatment phase began. During these five weeks, in addition to core instruction, each participant received one-on-one -on -one targeted intervention with me for fluency. This is where I use duet reading. Each week of the treatment phase, students met individually with me for approximately five to 10 minutes, three times a week. Each session began with a listening passage preview using a passage from reading A to Z, and this passage was within the student's instructional reading level. The listening passage preview consisted of me reading aloud the passage and the student followed along silently. Next, the student and I began our rotational reading of the same passage. The fourth and final reading of the same passage was the independent read by the student. A new passage was only introduced once a week to the participants unless I found that the passage provided was in the child's independent range or it was too easy for them. The final segment of my study was a post-treatment measurement which was another FAST assessment passage that had been unseen to the participants. These were all scored using words read correctly per minute. The independent variable of my study was duet reading, while the dependent variable was reading fluency. The data was analyzed using a dependent sample t-test comparing the baseline, pre-treatment, and post-treatment assessments. An alpha level of 0.05 was used for all statistical tests. Findings supported the hypothesis that using the duet reading strategy increased a first grade student's words read correctly in one minute. As you can see, the post-treatment mean score was 64.40 with a standard deviation of 20.91. This was about 83% higher than the baseline phase, which had a mean of 35.20 with a standard deviation of 13.04. The graph on this, on this slide shows the increase of the mean score throughout the baseline phase, pretreatment phase, and the post-treatment phase. The table on this slide shows the results of my sample t-test. As you can see, the p-value was 0 0.001, which is less than the alpha level of 0 0.05. This shows a, a statistically significant difference between the baseline and post-treatment data, which confirms my hypothesis of this study. The findings of this study are in alignment with the automatic information processing theory, which is from LaBerge and Samuels in 1974.
This theoretical framework requires students to become automatic in their recall of words in order to shift their attention to comprehension rather than the decoding of words. A duet reading intervention helps students with this shift by providing them enough opportunities to reread the same text. With each rereading, students became more familiar with the text and were able to read it with greater fluency. Using a repeated reading strategy such as duet will move readers to a more fluent stage. When readers are fluent, they will have a high level of word recognition and reading will become more automatic. The multiple readings also align with Vygotsky's development of the zone of proximal development and the social learning theory. The students in this study read each passage three times with the guidance of me. Each reading slowly shifted the responsibility onto them. The findings of this study supported Vygotsky's work and students increased their oral reading fluency. The results of this study also align with past research on repeated readings. Using repeated readings as an intervention for struggling readers has been shown to be an effective way to improve a child's words read correctly per minute. From this research, educators can take away a practical and quick fluency intervention strategy. Duet reading can be easily implemented into any grade level and does not require a lot of materials or time. Students can benefit from the one-on-one -on -one teacher attention and will increase their reading fluency. They will hear model fluent reading before attempting it on their own. This will help them build their reading confidence and aid in their comprehension. Finally, parents will be able to see and hear their child's increased reading fluency and confidence. One limitation of my study was the small sample size. The study only had 10 students participating and all of those 10 students were from my classroom, which would be the same grade level. Since the sample was all from the same classroom, it was a convenient sample. The findings are limited in terms of their generalization to other educational settings. A larger sample size could have given more accurate results. Further research could use a control group from another classroom setting to further support the findings of my study. Another limitation of my study is the lack of previous research that has been done on non-transferred materials as the assessment. Most research used the repeated reading strategy and assessed the participants using materials that the students have seen and read before. This study used passages that were unknown to the participants. More research in this area could further prove that students can make fluency gains on unseen passages. An additional limitation to the study is the students chosen were not in any reading supports, for example, Reading Recovery, Title I, and a reading resource group. The participants were, in general, were general educational students who may have increased their words correct per minute regardless if they participated in the duet reading strategy. Further research is needed using students who have been formally identified with reading difficulties. This research could further promote duet reading as a fluency intervention to students who struggle the most. To conclude my presentation, I would like to highlight the confirmation of my hypothesis that duet reading will increase a child's oral reading fluency. A statistically significant difference between the baseline and the post-treatment phase was presented. The final two slides are my references. Thank you for listening.